Good morning, good Monday morning, Life for Five, here I go. Yesterday I taught a body bar class. I only typically use one piece of equipment in my sculpting class. Good morning, I can see you there, but I don't know who it is. Um, so I'm gonna just crank through some of the ideas that I did yesterday. I'm doing a squat with an overhead reach and then a forward press for the anterior shoulders and core. So just quickly, I'm not gonna do the amount of repetitions, of course, I would do in class, just enough time so that you can see the exercises. From here, I'm just gonna progress all the way through my legs and then take a squat. And you can do dynamic squats, you can reach, sit it up there, dynamic squats. This added ex adds extra weight, which I love on the legs. So I'm gonna reach and press it in. You can also do balance. So you're gonna focus on quad strength, core strength, foot strength, lower leg strength. I'm gonna widen my arms. And then I'm just gonna do some functional work. So my progressions usually are very smooth. I think about my transitions and I really think about a combination of upper and lower body, fatigue the upper, then fatigue the lower, do functional, do traditional. So I hope that helps. So right now I'm doing shoulder mobility, which I think is hugely lacking right now in the industry to do a lot of rotational work. And then let's go the other way just so that I'm balanced. And like I said, I'm just gonna crank through a whole bunch of exercises. From here, I'm just gonna go overhead reach, but instead of just holding it from the chest to overhead, let's keep it there and do a negative push. So adding a little core and extension, you can do it with a leg lift. And then really I'm focusing on the armpit squeeze here because that's what's gonna strengthen the shoulders. And I would do both sides. So let's just do that real quickly, push it up and squeeze so that you can see both arms. This is great to check out unilateral power in both sides. And then I'm gonna do a little party on the dance floor. I love this. You can move around the room, shake it up, but it's working the upper body, the core. You can bend forward, take it back, put a great piece of music on, do a minute interval here, and you will be there. How about a row? So a row is great. The further back you push, the better. Now, one of the things I do with the body bar that I really, really think changes the dynamic of the work is either pull your hands apart or squeeze your hands together. And those muscles will feel different. And then of course you can always add a balance component, like one leg. So notice I've got one leg on the floor and I'm rowing those arms. Then from here, I'm just gonna take a nice deep breath in, change my hands up for biceps. And again, a balance component's great to the side, to the back. You can have your hands forward. You can have your hands down, right? Either way, make sure you go to full extension. And then right dead center in the middle, you can do unilateral work, much heavier, of course. You can assist it with that second hand. That really helps. So if you can do the up and then not assist the negative, that's gonna build strength very quickly. And from here, I'm only gonna do a half range. So different ranges, three bottom, one up. Whatever you like to do, I'm just kind of cranking out ideas. I loved class yesterday. I did an hour with only the body bar. Press it up and I'm gonna hold it here. All right, so if you're holding all those heavy packages for the holidays, this is what you need. Rotate, wrist strength. Stabilize with two fingers. Rotate, stabilize. Great way to work the wrist forearm, shoulder stability, hold it there. I'm gonna turn, set up in a row. So my row, I like a staggered position. Notice it's not big and wide because this will keep the spine square and you can use your legs more. So you could go all the way down for a staggered squat, pull to the waist. And some of the things you can do from this position, we'll just do it quickly. Nice spine, a fly, an anterior push a rear push, and if you need help to the back, you can always assist. So I'm just gonna do a couple of those, and a fly, and a rear delt, and then you could tuck your hand back about a third of the way to the end, and do tricep kickbacks. Put your thumb on the same side as your fingers, and you're gonna feel a really nice extension of the chest in a tricep exercise. It's not as hard as something heavier, or something that you're doing specifically back and tight, but you'll warm it up really efficiently and you get a different feel on this triceps. So from right there, I'm gonna hold it and do rear delt, pull it, just a little bit of a teeter-totter right here. Give me a few more seconds. We are almost done. And to finish it off, 
Let's just do kickbacks. Hi, good morning. Thank you for that. Remember when you do kickbacks, chest up scapula down, no trapezius in the air, just keep it nice and low. I'm going to kick back and continue working out. When I sign off, have a great day. Join me for Cardio Wednesday. Leave me any comments. If you have any, any questions or any requests, I'm happy to deliver. I'm going to burn it out right here in five, four, three, two. Take care. See you later.